How's it going everybody? Your old pal Bob Ganoush here coming at you with another fantastic video. It's been a while since I put out a video. I'm excited to do this one in particular, talking about the equipment that I bring backpacking with me, specifically the top five pieces of equipment that I cannot live without. So pull up a chair, let's go ahead and get into it. So okay everybody, the top five pieces of gear that I cannot live without. Now, this is not going to include you know, your essential pieces of gear like your backpack, your shelter, your sleep system, cook system, all that kind of good stuff. This is gear that you kind of have a decision whether or not to bring, it's not necessities, it's things that basically make my experience a little bit better, a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more enjoyable. Um, and so yeah, these are a few little pieces of gear that I just love to have in my backpacking system and I have to bring them with me anytime I go hit the trail. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so number five, this is going to be my camera, the Sony A6000. Now I put this as number five because I do bring a variety of different cameras depending on how I feel. Um, and as well, you know, I have a different ways of doing video, photos, so on and so forth. So, but number five, I've really enjoyed actually bringing my actual camera with me, my Sony a6000. It's been able to capture some absolutely incredible photos, some of the most spectacular photos I've ever captured ever, especially along my uh, 2018 Appalachian Trail through hike. Um, and one of the main reasons why I chose this camera, you know, it is mirrorless. So part of that, it does make it a little bit slimmer, a little bit more compact, a little bit lighter weight. It still has all the capabilities as you know a really great expensive DSLR, but in just a much smaller, more compact series. This is also able to connect directly to my phone. Um, so I can literally shoot my photos. I can shoot videos with this as well if I wanted to, uh, but shoot my photos, load them, transfer them right over to my phone, do my editing on uh, Adobe Lightroom and everything, and then upload them for all of you to enjoy. Um, so number five, my Sony a6000. Certainly I do bring uh, some accessories with me. I'll usually bring a tripod, a small case with me as well, um, and usually just like a small microfiber rag just to make sure it's staying clean and whatnot. So number five, Sony a6000 camera, love it. Okay, everybody, so number four on the list of pieces of gear that I cannot live without, and that is going to be my fanny pack. This is something that's a little bit new to my backpacking setup. I've been utilizing a fanny pack ever since I got off uh, the Appalachian Trail, um, and honestly, I will never go without it again. So I'm going with this at number four, partly because it ties into number five with my camera a little bit, um, and that enables me to carry my camera, my phone, um, or my GoPro, basically right on my waist, make it more accessible. Um, now, with this fanny pack in particular, this is by the company called Light AF Gear. Uh, yes, it means exactly what you think it means. Uh, <laughs> really cool, it's made out of Dyneema, so the material itself is highly water resistant, waterproof. Um, nice YKK waterproof zipper along the top there for you as well, and a good mesh pocket right in front. So I got this, so especially the waterproof capability, the waterproof nature of it. Um, it's nice where I can keep my camera in there, keep my phone in there, and know that even if it starts downpouring, I don't all of a sudden have to scramble to put everything, everything inside my backpack. But of course, everything remains very accessible to me. Uh, it's great where I can, ca I can carry some extra snacks inside there, you know, not just for my camera and my electronics and accessories and stuff, but, you know, carry some extra snacks, especially for a long day, long distance day. Um, it's nice just to have that stuff more accessible. This thing is incredibly lightweight. It's only about an ounce and a half. So incredibly lightweight. I got it. You can get it in a variety of different colors, light AF gear. Definitely go check them out if you're looking for a good backpack and fanny pack as well. Uh, really lightweight, again, variety of colors. I got it in blue, because blue is for Bob. Um, really, really cool. Number four piece of gear that I cannot live without. Just such a very, very versatile piece of gear. I wish I had it on my through hike uh, on the AT in 2018. I look forward to carrying this on the PCT. 2022, 2021, you never know. You never know. Um, but number four piece of gear that I cannot live without. 
Okay, everybody, number three on the list, the piece of gear that I can't live without. And this one's kind of a funny one, one that I'm going to enjoy kind of talking about here. Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with actually hiking or anything. This is more something to help with the mental aspect of long distance hiking, especially through hiking. Something to give me a good laugh in the morning. And every hiker carries a little piece, a symbolic piece, a little totem or something like that with them. Just as say, provided with a little hat, a little laugh, a little mental break from like a long day or something. So my little totem, my little piece, uh, this is a little picture window thing uh, of a mouse droid. If, for those of you who don't know, a mouse droid is from Star Wars. It's the little thing that skirts around um, the Death Star. And I got this out of a cereal box years ago when some of the new Star Wars movies were coming out. I picked it up and lo and behold this was in it and it's been a part of my backpack and set ever since. Now this is from a couple years ago as well. So it's done, it, it made it from Georgia to Maine. I, I intend on taking it from Mexico to Canada twice uh, to do the PCT and the CDT and this is going to stay in my backpack set ever since. So basically it's like one of those little picture window things. So you look through here, photos on the other side, you look out at like the sunlight or something like that and you can see the photo on the other side. So, so when you look through it, you will see a mouse droid on the other side. Fernando and I, Fernando also has one uh, because I got two out of a cereal box, so I gave one to him. Um, and <laughs> so we call it just good juju. You know, it's a fun way to kind of start the day, uh, just to provide yourself with a good laugh in the morning, good way to start the day. And you'll just, you know, you'll just hold it up, hold it up just like this, you know, just like that. And uh, yeah, that that right there, that's some good juju. Oh yeah, that's some good juju. It's gonna be good times ahead. Um, <laughs> it's just a cool little gimmicky thing. It weighs nothing. It's in my hip belt pocket all the time. Good way to start the day. Provide me with a good laugh, good little mental break. Uh, number three, can't live without a piece of gear. This is my backpack. <laughs> uh, on to the next one. Ah, okay. After after that funny little one there, uh, I got to admit that's that's funny. It's it's something that stays in my backpack. Again, you can see the smile that it brings to my face. Uh, it's just a cool little thing. But now on to an actual piece of gear that makes my hiking much much more enjoyable. There for me. Um, so number two on the list of pieces of gear that I cannot live without, and that is going to be a camp pillow. I know a lot of hikers will kind of frown at this a little bit. Um, cause they'll just do, you know, and I've done this before is just the clothes in the stuff sack. But what I found out is that during summer, I don't carry a lot of clothes with me. So that pillow basically does nothing. And as well throughout the night, the pillow becomes compressed over time. So my head ends up on an angle, very uncomfortable. And I wake up the next morning with a sore neck, sore shoulder, sore back, and it's, it's just not enjoyable. So a couple years ago, I picked up my first camp pillow. That was by Sea Summit, and I still have the pillow. I love it, um, but it just it it just wasn't for me. Um, it just it just wasn't for me the way it just was situ the way it was kind of shaped and everything. So this here is the Nemo Philo Elite. This is only about two and a half ounces. This again went from Georgia to Maine. It's still going strong here today as well, um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, a couple things that I really like about it. Number one is the cover is actually removable. Um, so you can remove the air bladder inside and wash, machine wash the cover, which is always nice. Um, especially on a long through hike to be able to regularly wash your pillow up. Always nice. Uh, but the big thing as well is part of why I really wanted a camp pillow was because, like I said before, with the clothes on the stuff sack, your head ends up on an angle anyway. I, I was just tired of dealing with the sore neck, sore back all the time, could never get comfortable, couldn't sleep well. So I picked this up, inflating it, it stays its shape all night long, a few inches off the ground. So it keeps my head in a little bit more of a, a streamlines, um, more in line with my spine kind of thing. Um, and I just, I've slept better with it, it's more comfortable for me. It only weighs two and a half ounces, um, so you know what? I absolutely love it. I will forever carry a camp pillow from here on out. Okay, everybody, in the moment we've all been waiting for, number one, the number one piece of gear that I cannot live without in my, in my backpack and set, and that is a sit pad. That's right. I cannot live without a sit pad or a seating device, as some people call it. Um, 
you know, it's just such a versatile piece of gear. I've had this thing, obviously it's pretty beat up, as you can see, it's absolutely filthy. This thing went from Georgia to Maine. I had it for, for a couple years prior to my through hike as well. It's now two years after my through hike and it's still going strong. Certainly it is starting to get a little matted down in the middle. Um, it is starting to get nicked up a little bit, but hey, it's still going strong. I intend on taking this still on my PCT through hike as well. Um, it is just such a very versatile piece of gear. Uh, one, of course, sit pad, sit right down on it. We've all sat down on a cold, wet, uh, especially after if it's raining for a while, a wet log, cold rock. Um, that's not very enjoyable, uh, especially when you're trying to sit around a fire or something and everything is soaking wet, not very fun. So this allows you to get up off the ground a little bit on a dry surface. It is insulated. It's just like their foam sleeping pad. So it is actually insulated. You do notice it does help you keep it warm as well. Keep, keep your butt nice and toasty warm. Um, but you can do a couple other things with it as well. Lay it down almost as like a doormat in front of your tent. So you can kneel down on it um, and put all your gear inside instead of kneeling in the mud. Uh, it's nice as well to where if you lay it outside as a doormat, I'll actually put my shoes on it so it keeps my shoes up off the mud and everything as well. Uh, you can lay your pack on, keep it off, keep your pack off the mud. You can also use it as a fan to fan the fire so your face doesn't have to get all the way down there. Um, it is just a very, very versatile piece of gear. Weighs only two ounces. It's probably less than that now because it is missing some pieces <laughs> and it's been so chewed up. Um, but hey, it is just such a versatile piece of gear. You see a lot of through hikers, a lot of long distance hikers carrying this thing. Um, you know, certainly those ultralight camp chairs are immensely comfortable, but for a through hike, hiking thousands, a couple thousand miles, I'm not going to carry a chair that weighs a pound, two pounds even, when I can use that to carry more food. Um, this thing weighs two ounces. It's like 20, 25 bucks. Can't go wrong. Gotta love it. Uh, Thermarest Z seat, my sit pad, can't go wrong. Well, there you have it, everybody. My top five pieces of gear that I cannot live without. These thing, these are things that make my backpacking experience so much more enjoyable. Now, obviously, as those pieces of gear wear out over the years, I will replace them and upgrade them. But the concept, the themes, still will remain the same. Still have a pillow. Still have a fanny pack. I'll still carry a camera and hopefully I'll still have that little mass droid to provide me with some laughs and smiles. So thank you guys so much for following along on another fantastic video. It is good to be back. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my future videos. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Leave me, in, leave me a comment or a question down below. Or hey, let me know what piece of gear that you can't live without either. See you guys in the next video. Baba Ganoush out.